This video is for the model builders out there. I wanted to share some of the designs that I use on my sub 250 gram models. The goal for me was threefold. First, it was to have a quick and easy way to attach and detach the wings so that I could gain access to the hardware within the inner fuselage. Secondly, I wanted something that looked good with no visible rubber bands. And thirdly, as I was rather prone to crashing my planes, I wanted something that would help minimize the damage. More on this in the latter part of the video for those who are interested. So here are a few of my designs for attaching wings. I have perfected these over the last couple of years. I believe that these have saved a number of my airplanes from more severe damage during my many crashes. So here is where I started. This method is best suited for foamies. I have used it on slow flyers such as this one, but also more sporty designs. As you can see, there is an elastic, well, actually an elastic attached to a ribbon that is attached to the rear part of the dowel on the wing. The combination of elastic and ribbon gives it the right amount of tension, which you can adjust depending on the lengths of the elastic and the ribbon. The elastic gets passed underneath two dowels that are embedded in the fuselage. The elastic is then hooked onto the front part of the dowel. The next design I have used mainly with my Baza builds. There is a sort of tooth attached to the wing. The shape of the tooth is important, especially the inner surface. The inner surface catches onto a rod that is attached to the fuselage. I use a carbon fiber rod since it is strong but flexible. The tooth catches onto the rod and as the wing is slid into place, the tapered edge pulls the rod towards the wing. The flexible rod bends slightly to provide tension. Getting the right shape of the holding surface on the tooth is important, and getting it right requires a little bit of trial and error. Adding the cover on the front keeps the wing securely in place. And this one is my low wing model and the wing slides from the back. The position of the wing is held in place using small tabs that fit within the walls of the fuselage. In this design, the wing is prevented from sliding out of position by a tab located at the back that locks into the fuselage. So what happens when the plane crashes? Well, typically the tooth breaks along the grain of the bowser wood, and it is easy to glue the tooth back together in the field or as I have done is to use a couple of pins to attach it so that it can be replaced with a spare. A five minute repair and we are flying again. I should note that I use medium strength baza wood and the dimensions of the tooth also needs to be such that the strength of the tooth is adequate for flight but capable of breaking during a crash. This is not difficult to achieve with a little bit of trial and error. Finally, here are a couple options that I like to use with my mid-wing planes and gliders. I use a spar that is flat, so it is rigid in the vertical direction to keep the wings from bending and flapping. But it's flexible in the fore-aft direction so that the wing, if impacted, simply pops off. The two small tabs are needed to keep the wing aligned with the correct decalage and therefore angle of attack. Finally, I use small earth magnets that keep the wing from sliding off. So I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.